So, just to, just so you guys, I wasn't I wasn't gonna go over this, um, but I decided that you know full transparency need to. Um, I single-handedly have lost five hundred thousand dollars in marketing for no fault than myself. Five hundred thousand dollars for both companies. We uncovered something this weekend, and it cost me a half a million dollars between the last four and a half months. There's a really bright side of this and there's a really shitty side of this. The bright side is every single person on this crew was able to sustain with the amount of ups that we had on the marketing side from this. Our call tracking phone numbers essentially have glitches in them. 99% of our marketing, all your call tracking numbers, all the Facebook, all the Google, all the analytics, everything we have, only 50% of the people can actually call us. The other 50% that I discovered through a call tracking system phone number can't get through, it says call cannot be reached. This is the biggest call tracking company in the country. And we discover something between coax and fiber that they had no idea on that they're trying to look at. We are able to sustain, we are able to be profitable, we are able to pay our bills with essentially walk-in customers and 50% of call customers coming through. Every time we unturned it, it got worse and it got worse and it got worse and it got worse. And Facebook, Yesterday, I had to shut down 60 friendly ads, probably about $200,000 on Facebook alone from call tracking phone numbers that weren't going through. Can't do anything about it. It really sucks. But just like the recession, just like COVID, we are profitable and we made it through it. Had we have not known, now we get to build on it. We know. And that one thing turned to two things. And then we found out two things that was wrong with the marketing. We were able to fix it. And where I'm coming from it is a standpoint of excitement. Like, this is what we just did with a wasted budget. I can't wait to see what we can do now with a full budget. Um, it was 90% on, on Premier. It was about 10% on Jaguar. But the Jaguar ones were the main tracking phone numbers. So unless you called our main tracking phone number off of Google, chances are you probably didn't get through. And we tested this phone call, we tested each number about 15 times over and over again, and it would work and it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work and work. Called a tracking company and they essentially said, we've heard about this happening before. Which my reply was, you guys are the number one call tracking place. Why would you not have be this, why would this not be a standard? So, almost had a heart attack this weekend. But then, Courtney put me in my place right away. And she's like, what are you gonna do about it? And then I started thinking differently, like I'm training you guys, think differently. Yeah, it sucked. If I'm not gonna get flushed by losing a half million dollars and I can turn that into excitement of what can we do with now a full budget for both teams, I think it's gonna be insane. We're gonna have everything working, everything on firing full cylinders, YouTube things working properly. So what you've seen this year because call tracking started in February. What you've seen us do in this year is essentially been mostly word of mouth and maybe 30% of our budget at most. So when I talk about scaling and I talk about growth and I talk about what we're going, I was doing that with where we were today. I wasn't doing that mindset with finding out that this was all going on. But just as we talk about with you guys on things happening and being honest and not always being worried you're gonna get fired and just the growth that I'm expecting you guys personally, not more on the work side, but more personally. I am the owner of this franchise. Actually, we're not franchise. I am the owner of this company and I single-handedly, $500,000 have just flushed down the toilet. And if my mindset can be clear for you guys to make sure that you guys are successful, then there's nothing that you guys can be challenging in your life that you can't turn into a positive. You guys have your own mindset. You guys can, figure out how your day is. You can figure out what mood kind of, what you're in and what a customer brings to you and what kind of your sniffing other brings to you. You guys have the control of your mood. No one should be messing with your mood. You have to you have to start especially in this economy making sure that you can figure out how to be as positive as possible and figure out how to have a different mindset. Had this been 12 months ago, I probably would have jumped off the cliff. But because my mindset changed and I realized there's a silver lining in this. Literally the silver lining was I lost all this money and then we uncovered two more things from that. The call tracking phone number was not 
even uncovered. I found a phone number that was incorrect on one of our YouTube videos that was linking to Jaguar, and one of them was just a broken number. We started calling all the call tracking numbers. We were fixing a video. Simple as that, we were fixing a video. It's, it says, sorry, the, the number you've called cannot be reached. So if a customer is calling from a cell phone, most of the time it's working. Customer calls from the fiber lines, it is working. If a customer calls from any landline, coax, it is not working. The variables that we had to figure out for that to be an issue is pretty much about 1%. The fact that we actually tested all three and over and over again, I guarantee 90% of the people have no idea. There is our, our marketing agency, one of our marketing agencies that we work with for Google, their customers use CallRail, which is the call tracking software. And their customers are Home Depot, Lowe's, big customers that use this. And she had no idea that this was a thing. So they're waiting on us to figure out how this is gonna be resolved. Because Home Depot and Lowe's and these big franchises, Costco, that they deal with and handle their marketing for are probably having the same problem. More of the story is we have not hit our stride and we have not even come close to what we can do. From commissions to sales to where we're at, if we can do $5 million in a company with marketing essentially not working, we're going to be unstoppable. So just hang on because the marketing turned back on yesterday and they're fixing the call tracking and as soon as that clicks, What, what gave it away is Saturday, I got a notification. I get a notification on every single thing. If you don't know about me, everything is in the numbers. Automation. I got, a num I got an automation email that said, Premier got zero calls on Saturday from call tracking, zero. Someone might have called on the regular phone number, but zero calls. For $125,000 a month of advertising, something is wrong. And then one thing turned into two and three and I'm still digging. So just understand that I am human, at the end of the day, we look at people like Grant as some mythical person that's amazing, he is still human. He's just 10 years ahead of me, and I'm just 10 years ahead of half of you guys. Moral of the story is, we all make mistakes, we all learn from them, and if you figure out what the silver, silver lining is, you will take your life to the next level. I did it three years ago. Three years ago, my mind switched, and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna keep on focusing on the negative. Easier said than done, I know but why focus on the negative anymore? What does it even get you? The shit happened, you can't change it. And then someone pisses you off in the morning, I say to myself, am I gonna come to work and take that out on you guys, or am I gonna just put it aside? So you can't act pissed off and then expect someone to care that you're pissed off. I don't care that you're pissed off. What I care is about that you're pissed off because you wanna be pissed off. If you're sad, you're, you're with someone, they cheat on you, you're sad, great, it's sad. But if you're gonna be sad, no one cares about your pity. Your mindset is on you. You can be positive, you choose not to be. So start changing your mindset and things like this are kind of eye-opening that the reason I'm doing this is so you can see that I'm not above you guys. I'm not in any way, shape or form expecting something that I haven't done with you guys. But if you believe in what I'm teaching you and you believe in things that we're doing and you actually believe in things like the grant training and what we're actually putting in effect for our growth, this is a perfect example of where we're gonna go because we have now figured it out and now what the fun part of a business is growing from where you fucked up. And that's why business owners are so addicted to business because they like fucking up. Grant likes fucking up so he can fix things. Every one of his videos, he wants to fuck up because those are more, those are more of the wins to him than making money. And I'm the same way. Like I, this excites me the fact that he said to me last night, I can't figure out how you're so excited right now. And I said, you know, Failure, that, failure's learning to win. Yeah, <laughs> so you need, it's all mindset. So for me personally, things like this, things like you crashing things, things like you guys fucking up in your personal lives, if I can fix just one part of it, as stupid as it sounds, me getting you to get crypto to know that people that bought crypto are gonna be millionaires in about two years, things like that, excites me. So your mindset is more powerful than you guys think and your positivity is more powerful, so if you change your mindset, you'll change your life.